What is up guys, this is TSD Distribution Sub back here with another video. Today I'll be doing a video and on Android 12. Now I'll be running this Android 12 on my Pixel 4a and I have been trying this for uh, like ever since it came out. Now in this video I won't be discussing everything about Android 12 because already there are a couple of dedicated channels which talk only about the updates on Android 12 or like just basically Android or iOS. So like two of them I follow which are Zolotech and in-depth tech reviews. I'll leave the links for the channel in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, they cover the, the software in the best way possible. So I definitely recommend them. Uh, recommend you to check them out if you want a more in-depth analysis on Android 12. I will just be discussing all the bugs and a couple of issues that I've been facing and a few new things that I like about this. So um, I have actually submitted a couple of uh, feedback on the different issues. So uh, as you can see, so I'll be going through all of these and we'll be discussing all about that. So first of all is the volume slider. So this volume slider, as you can see, uh, if you top, tap right above this uh, volume slider, you will notice that it does not, uh, it does not like slide back away. Like for example, if I type it, type, uh, type it on the right uh, left side, it goes right away, uh, just, it just disappears. And like, for example, if I'm above an app and let's say this app is right here and I try to tap on this app, it won't open. So this is one bug I faced and I'm pretty sure they'll fix it because many people were facing the same thing. Not a big issue, but something that I uh, wanted to discuss about. Again, the volume slider, this is a pretty good one. I mean, this is a thick, so it's just, it gives you better control over your volume slider. And I fe felt that that was a much needed change with Android 12. So I'm happy that they, uh, they did that. The other one is the cellular network issue. Now this is actually pretty consistent. And uh, right now I'm probably not facing this. Let me just see. No, I'm not facing this, but most of the time, uh, if you see, you will get a cross right on this network sign, uh, right uh, on this triangle. And that is, uh, that has been the case since February uh, update of Android 11. Now, I don't know, Google hasn't really fixed it since then and it's just got worse, but uh, I'm pretty sure they will fix it with Android 12 because again, I've noticed a couple of people facing the same issue. So hopefully Google knows about this and they will rectify this or just do something about this because sometimes, you know, when you are not connected to a network, or you like your Wi-Fi and you need to use a mobile data. You cannot use this because sometimes, or actually most of the time, it, sh it does not work. And that's the thing I've been facing quite a lot of times and it's kind of irritating. So I hope they'll fix it in the future. Uh, the other issue is, um, so this is the YouTube studio thing. Uh, so what happens here is if I open the YouTube studio app, let me just clear on my background applications. So if I open the YouTube studio, you'll notice this YouTube play button like you just saw. Uh, let me do that again, this one. So that's one slight bug that I've faced. It's only with this app, not, not any other ones I've tried so far. So um, that's not really an issue. It's just, just a visual look. I think they fix it with Android 12 finals beta or the final release. So that is the third issue. And the fourth is uh, the lock screen sometimes. Now this happened to me once or twice, but after that it didn't happen. But sometimes when your phone is off, uh, right now I have my bat power saving mode because it's on low battery, but most of the time it will not show your uh, always on display. And talking about always on display, they did an amazing job in my opinion. Uh, as you can see, I'll just close all these apps. When you have no notifications, you will see this giant clock. I mean, you just close this and you will notice uh, the let the digits have thinned out. So that is uh, one transition that added. Basically, Android 12 is all about transition and animations and all that stuff. So I'm pretty happy that uh, focusing on that. So that's one neat feature that they've added in the lock screen. And if there are notifications, they will just uh, the clock will just come on top uh, horizontally. So yeah, that's about the uh, always on display. Now, this issue hasn't really caused any 
uh, thing to, like any problem to me but once what happened uh, like this was I think only once or twice but I wasn't able to open uh, my phone until unless I used the pin because the entire screen was blacked out uh, no matter what I did I had to use the pin so that was one weird bug that I faced at, at, uh, around two twice and after that I never fo uh, faced this so I won't really call this a big issue probably you may not face it either so that's about uh, the lock screen the other one is the dark mode toggle animation now this is an amazing thing that they've done uh, something like all the other like even Samsung is doing and I also already done that so as you can see if I uh, turn this thing off it shows that animation but as you notice there's a bug when you toggle this on or off you will see the home screen and as you can see it happens almost every time sometimes just for a split second but it does show but I'm really happy that they fixed this animation because that was one of the biggest problems I had with Android um, 11 that the animation for toggling on or off the dark theme was literally not there there was no animation it was just like that and also it wasn't really smooth it took time to you know uh, turn on the dark mode it wouldn't happen instantaneously that's the same case with this I mean uh, it, uh, it takes a second or two but uh, since the Android 12 is focused on animations and transitions I believe they will folk I will uh, they will fix this issue and it will be really responsive close to an I iOS uh, close to iOS 14 I guess uh, hopefully that's the case but that's the only issue I face with the dark theme otherwise I think this is a really good uh, thing that they've done with the animation the other one is the inconsistent animations while deleting photos I'm deleting a couple of photos and this just animation thing you know it doesn't show the animations consistently when I'm deleting the photo from the camera app I've actually talked about this a lot in my other reviews for the pixel 4a and that has been the case since Android 11 and Google has done nothing about it so that's really really irritating and many people are facing the same thing with the pixel 5 and 4a is basically hampering the entire pixel lineup which is pretty disappointing and Google hasn't even addressed that hopefully Android 12 does I'm having high hopes with it so that's the camera issue. Uh, the other one is actually important. And that is while playing YouTube, any YouTube video, you will notice that there is a quite a noticeable frame drop. So what happens is, for example, I'm playing this video. I don't know if, if that will happen right now. Uh, no, it's not happening right now. But 95, 90 to 95%, you will notice that there is a, actually I'm noticing now. As you can see, this is a uh, this lag. Yeah, I'm noticing it now. It's not uh, it's not very consistent, uh, but this is a very big issue, and I've seen that uh, I've seen many people, especially the Pixel Five users, facing this issue, and I think that came uh, recent. This issue came recently, I think, with one of the updates. And that is pretty disappointing. The reason is simple that since uh, every time Google gives you an update on the pixels, it just has to ruin one thing or the other. And that's the trend I'm noticing since I've got this phone. That's pretty disappointing. I am hoping and crossing my fingers that with Android 12, the monthly updates are fixed. You know, they don't give you all these um, issues. You know, they just hopefully they just clean out all the bugs and give you a very stable version of it because these these little things really matter and you will be, we will get quite irritated so that's uh the issue i'm facing the most with android 12 and you know earlier android 11 but it became, became more consistent with android 12 so those are some of my issues that i've been facing now there are others too uh that is the battery life this is this i had to mention uh, it's not great all right it has decreased significantly with this update I uh, prior to this update I used to get around 6.5 5 6 to 6.5 hours of screen on time which I feel is amazing uh, and after this update I'm not able to see my screen on time so I just show you uh, to get a better idea I'm going to, uh, as you can see I'm on this battery setting and you will not be able to see 
uh, your battery usage. Even if I turn on, let's say, uh, they've actually removed, one second. So yeah, as, as you can see, I, I'm showing you the full device usage. They won't show you the exact screen on time that you're getting. So I believe that uh, it will get better, definitely. But uh, this is one thing you need to take into consideration. If you're gonna use this uh, Android 12 Beta 1, you need to make sure that this, is, this isn't your main phone or the only phone you have, because if the battery is a concern to you, then it will be a pain. And I will rec definitely recommend you to uh, like install it on your secondary device. Personally, I did this because I like to try out new things and I really don't care if my phone dies. I just want to try new things. That's the reason I installed this beta version. But if you're one of those people just like me, uh, you know, then I would definitely recommend getting this update because I mean, it's not something that will completely hamper your usage. It's nothing like that. It's a very stable build according to like uh, it, taking beta versions into consideration and it's pretty stable for a beta build. But Android 12 is focusing mainly on the performance and the animations. Like I said, the performance is supposed to be extremely good with Android 12. So I'm just seeing this, uh, referring this uh, site from Google just to see uh, the exact numbers. Now, it's reducing the CPU time by 22%. And it is also reducing the use of big cores by 15%. Now, these are not small numbers. These are pretty significant. So you should be expecting extremely good performance with Android 12 and everything should just work fluidly. And that's the main reason of this Android 12. So that's, that's the reason why I'm really excited about this Android 12. And I feel that it will get just better with the future updates because the way the beta one is performing, I think I'm really happy overall apart from a couple of things I've already mentioned. Basically, Android 12 is focusing on material hue design, which means you can customize your themes, your fonts, everything, you know, you, even your icons, the way you want it. And I'm pretty sure that you will see those things with beta two or even three. With beta one, things are quite limited and some of them are broken, as I've already said. But as, it, as you can see, this quick settings, it's it's, I think it was a much needed change and the notifications are amazing. I think this is the best way of implementing notifications. Android 11 was all right. I mean, I wasn't really a big fan of those, uh, the way they implemented the notifications. It was just a little too much in my opinion. And this is a lot better if you ask me. And also they will be changing the Google uh, Discover more. As you can see now the all these cards that they don't have those thick borders and they're not separated. They don't have their separate borders. Uh, they're just separated by a thin line and they're more centered and they just give you the headlines. Personally, I think this is a great way of implementing Android. Uh, so the Google discover, it looks great. You can fit bigger picture and it just looks great overall. Personally, I am really happy with this. And, uh, also, they've added this new animation, the bouncy animation, you know, whenever you reach, uh, whenever you over scroll something, this bouncy animation, as you can see, I'm happy with this. I'm really happy again that they're focusing on these kind of, these little things, because uh, if they're there, you will not notice it. But once they're removed from this, you will notice that there's such a, a big thing that's missing from a device. And I think those little things, They've taken into consideration and that's what going that's what's going to make your experience with android 12 a lot better and i'm really excited about this especially for pixels and again to try the beta beta builds i think android uh, pixels is one of the best ways of experiencing it so overall i'm really excited for it i'm looking forward to all the new things they will add hopefully they don't remove any of the good ones but my hopes are really high uh, with the android 12 especially in the bugs department. I hope they fix all the bugs with Android 12. And if they do this, I am definitely going to recommend the Pixel 4 it to almost anyone who needs a great phone at a great price. So that's pretty much it with this uh, short review on the Android 12. If you like this video, you know the drill, you know what to do. And also if you have any questions, do let me know down in the comments. And also guys, just one thing I wanted to say, that I've noticed that many people are asking me some questions 
uh, which I've already answered in the video. So I'm just, uh, this is a request that uh, do watch the entire video so that most of your questions get answered. But still, if you feel that some some things are still left and you are kind of curious, then do let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to help. So that's pretty much it with this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace.